guys, welcome back to Front Seat Driver. My name is Jason. Today I'm here with Steve from Protective Dad Pranks and he's going to be installing another new mod to his car. So I'm going to give him a minute to talk about what we're going to do today. Yeah, so I've been wanting these Stage 3 deflectors for my front splitter. And if, if you know anything about the Stage 3 splitter, they have a big gap in there. Now those are designed for the Grand Sport and the Z06 and a little fender flare. Well, I have a Stingray and that narrow body to me, I've seen them on Instagram and I've seen those, some people that do it and they put it on YouTube. To me, they look kind of weird because they have a big one inch gap. Well, thankfully, ACS has fixed this problem. So I spoke to Jonathan and he sent me these new ACS um, Stage 3 deflectors specifically built for the Stingray. And the cool part is we talked about it and he said, you know what, let's go see what's out there on the internet, what's being produced. So we're actually going to do an unboxing today because we went and bought some Stage 3 deflectors from eBay. And we're going to do a comparison between ACS Composite and the stuff you find from China. All right, Steve, show me what you got. So check it out. Obviously, ACS Composite and some made in China. So let's see. And I haven't opened either one of these. Now, we're not out here to punk anybody and say, hey, this stuff's bad. And so you look at it, we blacked out who's it's from. But let you know, I bought this on for 98 bucks on eBay. And the ones... From ACS, uh, they're about four times that, but I'm pretty sure they're probably going to be a lot worth it because most of my car is ACS. So let's get a little knife and figure out what we got here. All right. We don't have that cool smacky knife that everybody else has. Yeah, no, I have the $2 knife. Actually, I think it was more, but let's scrap this. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll give them a fair shake to see what's out there. First of all, I already feel it's really light. It looks very light. Here, grab that one. See what this is. So this, I mean, this feels like super light. Well, so we have, dude, that is. So it's it's carbon flash, but I'm telling you, these things are so light. Listen to that. Okay, right. Listen to that. It's hollow. It's like a totally. Hollow. Listen to that. That is so weird. And dude, oh look, it, it is literally plastic. It's not even yeah. a composite material. I, I, I have so many mods in my car from ACS, and this is literally like this plastic crap. Look at yeah, that. it is plastic. Okay. That's why it's so light. Okay, so this is what you get for 98 bucks. You get some plastic hollow, and uh, I already can tell you there's a big gap right here. So this goes into the car. This whole, this whole gap right here, Ooh. see the big gap? Is that oh, big? you can see where they sealed it on here. That's what it would show. Yeah. That literally would show with this writing on yes, here. Sir. <laughs> exactly. What's it, so what's this? Okay. It's the uh, it's like a H uh, tells you right and left or no A T I don't know. Dude. Okay, but I'm, I don't already, know I'm sorry. That. I'm already not impressed. I mean, not not because I'm ACS person. I mean, I, if if I could buy this stuff, what what's really getting me is this is just plastic. Listen to that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got to go see what Jonathan and the guys from ACS have to do. Let's go with slice this thing open. I'll slice towards you. Know, slice me. Instead of killing you, I'll kill myself. <laughs> Let's do. I don't like to practice safety anyway. Open this. Uh, you know, this box, we cut this one too because this one was the uh, FedEx people just trapped this thing. Yeah. There we go. So we, have, so we have instructions. Well, the other one didn't even have instructions. Yeah. Or hardware. So this thing's full of hardware. That is a is huge. Hardware? No. Just plastic. That is literally. That's it. A, an extremely important point. They don't even tell you how to make You're it. You're going to fasten this to, with what? What do you use to fasten this with? Gorilla tape? Bubble gum? They have holes for the fasteners, but... Yeah, so, yeah, we got to figure this one out. Mm. Okay, so here's ACS. Well, obviously, everything with ACS is... Look at, look at the... That's some cheap um, wrapping material. Everything from ACS is covered in this nice uh, fabric. Dude, okay, I'm not even going to feel the difference. All right, yeah. the, 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 the weight of it. Significantly different. So look at, these are Yeah, way look at the composite bad. material versus the cheap plastic. You hear that? Listen to that. That's so much, that's like, that's plastic. That's hard. Is yeah, that? And, and look at the quality of the composite product here versus just plastic. They're child's plastic. Well, you know what I like most? I really wanted these uh, these little winglets. Look at the difference in the winglet size. Wow. These are small to this big winglet. And check it out to see, look at there's no gap. If you look on it, we get these things installed, 
It's gonna look just tight on this car. <sighs> so I'm gonna guess actually, when I say there's no hardware, you don't necessarily probably have to have it. I'm assuming it's the push pins or whatever that's inside huh? the wheel well. Maybe. How, the here's my question: How do they install it down here? So right down yeah. here, there's a little there's a little hardware that you would need to salt to the splitter. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just telling. Even but even look at the carbon flash color. Carbon flash is actually uh, has some blues and kind of yeah. uh, grays in it. That looks solid gray. Yeah. But wow, what a night day! So let's go out and we'll. Uh, Tear the front end off, of the, or the, the stage two splitter off, and we'll see how this looks and go from there. We'll go ahead and look at the other mods that you've done from ACS while we're out there as well, because you have what, two, three, twelve? Thirteen. Thirteen? <laughs> Which yeah, is that? my car is uh, heavily uh, ACS. Yeah, uh, it should say core slash ACS. Exactly. Well, I, I mean, you start getting all the stuff, it's kind of addictive. Yeah. I mean, I'm addicted it's to like it. like a tattoo. People get tattoos, yeah. they don't start with, they start with one, then they get like ten. Yeah, we know what we feel like on tattoos. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. I'm not tattoos. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. so the first step to adding the new stage three deflectors is obviously to remove the stage two deflector, which Steve is doing right now, which is actually a pretty simple process, the easiest part of the process. This is my favorite part right here. <laughs> this is simple. <laughs> it's like tearing stuff down is always easier than putting it back. <laughs> Demo day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Putting it back together. Hold on, story. So Dude. I wanted to show you guys the difference. This is the ACS. So this is how the ACS will fit. The knockoff. Uh, not so much. It doesn't even fit. See the big gap? The way it lines up. I don't know if the camera will show up, but it literally doesn't even fit. So Dude. maybe it's for a different Corvette, you know, like a uh, Corvette made by somebody other than GM. Dude, it's crap. Yeah, they're definitely not going to work. So we are basically done, and it's getting dark, so it's a good thing we were running out of time. But as you can see, it actually looks... I actually like these ACS ones better than some of the other stage threes that I've seen. But so there it is. That is the final product. And to give you a little bit of reference, this is mine. So this is my stage two, and that's what he had on there before. And now with the larger stage three from ACS. So I think it looks really good. Hey guys, so I know on my last Corvette related video, I showed you that Steve from Protective Dad Pranks' uh, Corvette had uh, a lot of ACS mods, but we're gonna do it again because that video was about a week ago. And so of course now he's got four more ACS components added to his car. So I'm gonna let him discuss those, but we'll go, actually I wanna talk about everything that he's added because this video is gonna be a lot about ACS composites, or it's gonna be completely about ACS composites. Um, so I'm gonna let him kind of talk about the different products that he's got on his car And I'm gonna leave a link in the description all these different products So have you ever seen our first my very first video where my wife surprised me with the Corvette you can tell this was a Base model stingray had all the chrome and it's funny part is I didn't want anything to do with chrome and about a month after getting it I figured you know what there needs, there needs to be some changes Let's just start from the beginning. What we did is beyond the ceramic coat and the Expel, they did the whole front clip with Expel. Let's just walk through some of the upgrades. So we did the Stinger, uh, a carbon, carbon flash Stinger. ACS sent me all new uh, carbon flash emblems. Then we installed this 5-1 uh, grill. And there's this is a, their own custom version of a grill. And there's a link in the description if you're, if you're interested in buying it. But this has really been a game changer. It changes the completely different look of this car. Yes, I love it. So they went ahead and installed the splitter. And along with that splitter, in, in this video, you'll see that we, we put on the stage three deflectors. And the biggest difference between this and the ones you buy, this is made specifically for the narrow body of the Stingray. Some people use the stage three for that's intended for the Grand Sport or the Z06, but it puts this big gap out here. And to me, I'm sorry, this looks kind of weird. So this has been, totally made for strictly the Stingray narrow body, and this has been great. Then we went over to uh, Corvette World, and they put these Z06 style wheels on here. 
along with enhanced rock guards from ACS. And this is great for the Stingray. Then we have the rockers. Here, another carbon flash uh, Stingray. And I'm keeping this. Even though this car is starting to look like a Z06, this is a Stingray. I'm not trying to be a Z06. My goal is to have the baddest ass looking Stingray in America, and I'm getting pretty close to it. So, they, we did 18% window tint on the sides, 5% in the back. And let's see. This, this is the newest one right here. It's this. Well, then you also added all this. Oh, yeah. So, side marker lights right here, including the side, uh, the blacked out uh reflector lights this just got put on this is in a xl rock guard which i think is great because it actually has gives it the white it, it white is the back end of this car along with these new uh fascia extensions from acs and then here's the game changer right here for me is these z06 style clear lights this just kind of changes the back end of this car along with the stage three uh the stage uh 2.5 uh z06 spoiler then we have the rear diffuser from ACS. And honestly, if anything's changed this car, right here, Corsa Extreme. I'll take this up to any, any car the way it sounds because Corsa, oh man, it's, there's, that thing has the, the deepest and the richest sound. Everybody can hear me coming. Yeah, it has a really raspy sound. And I think maybe because yours is manual and mine's just the auto, it doesn't sound quite as good. Yeah, uh, and yours, yours sounds fantastic. Yeah, the black. Yes. Uh, tips on yours. And that's it's just that's just great in itself. But you guys let me know for a base stingray, does this look like the best stingray you've seen? I remember one other guy that I haven't seen him in a while, uh, Gabby the Stingray. He was on Instagram. I don't see his account anymore, so I don't think he has his car. Um, but he also had a really, really nice uh, base stingray. But uh, to me, and the torch red, and then with the ceramic coating and the expel wrap on the front part of it, it just looks like glass. And I swear this is basically a rolling advertisement for ACS Composite and their high quality materials and products. They're just fantastic. Anyway, that's going to basically do it for today's video. So I hope everybody enjoys this video. If you do, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.